We are working on this project, performing a work called In Orbit, where we're occupying what's essentially a two-bedroom apartment with one of the bedrooms on the outside of the wheel and one of the bedrooms on the inside of the wheel. And when we want to go to different parts of this apartment, we need to basically dial them in by walking along the wheel, changing activities, using different furniture. So the project took about a month to build, and um, Ward and I both have backgrounds in carpentry. Uh, um, and we built the whole thing in this room. Obviously, it couldn't fit through the door. Well, right now, I'm obviously sitting in the office um, at my desk. And then to my right is my dresser. And then my bathroom is our bathroom. Midnight is my comfortable chair, my bed and at 3.30 is my kitchen. Both the bathroom and kitchen have uh, a water supply at the bottom, and um, there are two bags, one with fresh water, one with waste water. There's a sink in both, and uh, an electric pump that pumps the water from the fresh bag to the sink, and then it drains into the waste bag. In the bathroom, we have a little chemical toilet um, that we pull out and use when we need to. And then for showering, you know, it's kind of bird bath and, you know, you can shave and obviously do your hair. <laughs> one, of, one of the things that we're thinking about while we're in here is how um, buildings, apartments um, construct relationships. You know, they make relationships just by nature of their layout, right? Um, and in this particular layout, I'm living with someone, but I don't have a common space with him where we can have a conversation. Um, but that doesn't mean that we are not sort of collaborating, because every time I want to move, he has to move. Lori Anderson once said that walking is actually just falling and catching yourself and then falling again. And it's kind of like this, I'm falling backwards instead of forwards. And it starts going faster unless I get up to the middle here. We're responsible for our own safety, so we have to constantly look at the uh, fittings to make sure nothing's getting loose or if weakening or getting jammed. And um, it's not that hard, but it's, you know, it, it, you can't take anything for granted. I'm uh, wearing a harness, which of course was the, the most obvious thing, but I have to actually sleep in this harness because um, I'm afraid I'd roll out of bed or, or that Alex will get up and go sleepwalking and the wheel will just take off. It's, it's the, the trust issue for me is the challenge. I mean, it's a combination of, the fa of my disability up here, the, the, my lack of power, and my need for him, and uh, they are hand in hand. Uh, I would have said earlier that it was just about the difficulty of doing things up here and, and the fear factor, but, uh, but the fact is that it's all tied in with the fact that he's down there for me, he's got my back, and that I have to be able to let these two things integrate.